Welcome to another episode of Risk. This is another for player fixed card game which is being played with expert plus rank players. Let's see what continent I could potentially go for. I see that I have a bunch of troops in Australia and also I have 7 troops in South America so I could potentially go for one of these continents guys. Which one is better it's really hard to see but right now I mean I think maybe I will just add my troops in Australia right now guys. I think yeah that will be my plan and since I don't really have well actually I could just attack one troop territory over here, so that will be it guys. No Australia yeah, no win, let's see if other players are going to contest for it with me. I mean the only other player who could contest for it with me is the pink player. But the pink player could potentially go for North America, I mean he has a bunch of troops over here, but also depends what the blue player does. I mean if the blue player moves his troops into Europe, then I think it will be a really good continent for the pink player to go for. When actually the black player had a bunch of troops in Europe, but since the blue player is going for that continent, it doesn't really sound as a good plan for the black player anymore, so let's see where he is going to add his troops to, and it looks like Africa will be it, guys. And finally, we are going to see how about the pink player. He could decide and contest for Australia with me, which wouldn't be really a smart decision, since it could be like 50-50 between which one of us gets eliminated, and when he could go for North America, or he could actually combine his troops into one army and intend going for South America. But alright, let's actually see if I could immediately capture Australia, I mean everything will depend on the blitz roll on the pink player over here. Let's minimize the slider option to the lowest amount of troops which will be still 100% so to minimize the troop losses. And alright, it didn't really help but that will be fine as well, I guess I will just take one more turn to capture Australia guys. Let's see if a blue player continues going for Europe but he's just added his troops in Africa so he might be going for Africa himself guys. And maybe the Europe continent will be left for the black player guys, I mean I will see if the black player should go for Europe right now. Since the blue player is showing the intentions to go for Africa and when. And when North America will be captured by the pink player from Mother looks guys. But also the black player maybe just Intense going for South America, but let's see if the pink player crushes the black player's troops over here. No, actually the pink player will go for Australia himself from what it looks like, or not. I mean, he probably thought that this 8 troops army is connected to his Siamese troops, but yeah. But yeah, the pink player is no Australian no win player, but oh well, oh well guys, well. Let him actually have it, but let's actually model roll his army for fun, I mean, this is what he will get, this is what he will get when if he wants to wipe out my troops from over here. Yeah, and so far I have been getting really good man rolls which I'm really happy about. I mean this is what he gets over here guys. And I guess I will just capture one troop territory over here guys, yes. Yes, that was really sweet to do with for the pink player guys. He isn't going to wipe me out from Australia so easily. I mean since the pink player fortified his troops over here, I figured out that he is going to wipe my troops out over here anyway, so I try to let him get the attacker's advantage, then I could potentially do some mal rolls and potentially even weaken his biggest army that much. So maybe he isn't even getting Australia anymore, but we are going to see how that goes guys. I mean this is what he gets by not going simply for North America. Yeah, but yeah, it looks like the black player is moving towards South America, so I think maybe I should even move out. And yes, I'm going to trade in a 10 troop set, so I think Australia will be still mine, guys. I think Australia will be still mine. And please fail, no, he wins it, guys, he wins it, guys. Yeah, the pink player is just desperate going for... going for... South America, guys. So what is my plan? I think I will prevent the black player from going... from getting South America, so I mean... Pink player is just a desperate getting Australia, and I cannot completely eliminate him from the game. Yes, I think my plan will be South America, guys. And let's just continue doing the mana rolls on the pink player to see if we continue getting some good mana rolls. And yes, we do, guys. Yes, we do, guys. Also, let's not forget to capture a card. I guess I will do it over here. And yes, and yes, guys. The pink player is actually risking a lot for Australia. He's just been weakened so much guys he's just beacon so much guys and let's see if a blue player captures africa immediately i mean he could definitely do that guys he will be starting to receive three true bonus guys 
but the right looks like he will be taking one more turn to do that. Let's see about the black player. Will he still intend going for South America or what is going to be his plan guys? What is going to be his plan guys? Well it looks like he will be desperate going for South America too so maybe I should even move out to North America or what's my plan guys? What is my plan? I mean those players are so desperate getting continents over anything else. I mean those, those expert rank players I mean at minimum. Those experts at minimum but, but yeah alright. The pink player gets Australian, I mean it could potentially get wiped out by the black player himself even or not. What do you guys think if I potentially eliminate if I potentially eliminate the pink player's army over heaven, the black player could potentially even take the pink player out. So let's actually see if he does that guys. I mean I created him opportunity to eliminate the pink player, he has all of the territories from North America to Asia and Australia in a straight line. So let's see if he's going to see that opportunity guys. Or if he will just rather waste 22 troops on my Venezuelan army. While he can not only take over Australia but also get 4 cards from the pink player. But also maybe he doesn't have a set but yes he does guys, he does have a set over here. Well, let's see what is he going to do guys. Alright he may just go for Europe or does he wants to go for North America, I mean I don't really get it guys. Yeah. Well actually I should let the black player to move out his four troops over here. I mean his intention will be very clear right now, I mean I mean he either removes his troops in North America or he moves his biggest army into South America guys. It will be really clear what the black player wants us, I don't totally get it right now. I will guess he would like to go for South America but maybe he wants... Maybe he wants North America. But ideally if I was him then I will potentially go for just Europe. Since that Conan is wiped out and also, also differently than in North America, I will have attack, I will have a path to attack the territory so he wouldn't really have to worry about me if he captured Europe. Let's see what the pink player does over here. Alright, he just captures one trip territory, I mean. Alright, I will just, I will just take over South America guys, I guess. I will just be using the South American turtle strategy guys, I don't really want a turtle but it looks like it will be it this time guys. It looks like it's going to be my best choice over here. Or I mean I could fortify my army on one of the borders but I mean I do not really want to threaten any of the players. I mean the blue player is even stronger than me and the black player with him receiving a set he's a stronger player than me as well guys. So I think the South American turtle strategy is my best shot to win this game and just not and just to not threaten any of the players, do not, to not even leave any troops on their borders. Yeah, the pink player wipes me out from where he has, but let's see if he captures my territory in, in Europe as well, but no he doesn't, so. I will still be able to capture territories guys, and it looks like is, will he be going for Asia or what's the case guys, what's the case, I don't know, but we are going to eventually see guys. And I will just capture one troop territory in Europe and that's it. I mean it might be even better for me to stay in South America as this way I won't be really threatening anyone so I assume the other players going to go after each other. We will be attacking each other. The blue player put a big army on Middle East so he is definitely preventing the pink player from going for Asia. The pink player isn't going to get Asia that easily. But he not necessarily wants it. I don't know, we are going to see guys, I mean. I mean if a black player doesn't add any troops in Central America then it will be really appreciated by him and yes, he doesn't do that. So yeah, I assume we are going to be good friends. I mean I could invade him and put all of my army in Central America but I guess I will prefer if I just wouldn't get into any conflict at all guys. I don't want to get into conflicts. Let's just use the glorious South American turtle strategy. And if you ask me why I don't guard, it's because what other players wouldn't guard against me either, I mean. That works against the black player and while the blue player guards against me, I mean he doesn't add that many troops either, I mean. If I put all of my army in Brazil, then I assume it will be, it will really make the blue player feel threatening by me and he will put a big army on North Africa as well. So this is what's the strategy behind not guarding any borders at all. And also another reason is that other players wouldn't pay the attention to me, but we will be focusing on attacking each other. And then after we will destroy each other a bunch. I will be able to fortify my army out of a block place and do some damage myself to be able to get into a real game myself guys. But let's see what the pink player does over here. 
It looks like he is going to wipe me out from Europe. I mean, I don't really care either way. I mean, I will just stick being in South America and that's it. So yeah, I will just be adding more troops over here. I'm not going to invade the black player into his continent. I don't think it will be a really smart idea. For me, the best idea is just to wait in South America. And wait till other players start attacking each other. And with that, one of them will get eliminated from the game. Also, I have a 10 troop set, but I think I will rather hold it. I mean, I have a wild card. And if I'm right, there are only two wild cards so i think i will rather keep that for myself so other players wouldn't be receiving them wouldn't be getting them so yeah i think that will be my play guys the pink player is actually capturing a bunch of territories i think that's to increase his territorial true bonus i mean if you have 11 or fewer territories then you get the last three territorial true bonus and from 12 territories you get four troops and then every three new territories you get plus one troop so 15 territories for five troops 18 territories for six troops 21 territories for 7 troops and so on, every 3 territories. Also the black player could potentially eliminate me eventually, I mean, he could just combine his troops into one big army and wipe me out from South America, but let's hopefully it won't be the case, guys. I mean, if I wanted to prevent that of happening, then I could have invaded immediately and put my army in Central America, but in that case, a black player wouldn't really appreciate me and would potentially consider it suiciding into me. And we had around the same number of troops. So I think the South American, the South American turtle player strategy is more ideal for me, guys. So far, there weren't a bunch of action, but we are going to see how that turns out eventually, guys. I mean, sooner or later, somebody will have to start attacking somebody. Otherwise, the game just won't end. Let's see if the blue player expands further than... Europe, but it looks like no, he doesn't. And also, for some reason, he put I mean, for some reason, he's building the biggest army on my border in North Africa. So, hopefully, he doesn't intend to eliminate me, guys. Hopefully, it isn't in his plan, guys. Right here, another boring turn of me just adding my troops, but I mean, I can't really do anything. I mean, this is how the game looks where everybody is just turtling without making any of attacks without intending to eliminate anyone, guys. So, maybe we will just stick being in this situation for a while. Unless I guess somebody starts attacking each other or maybe eliminates me as the weakest player in this game. But so far it looks like the players are just capturing one territory per turn and that's it. And that's it guys. As you can see the black player is putting a counter attack army over here in eastern United States. So it will be a counter attack army if I invaded him but I mean... It's a really small army, I mean, couldn't do anything against my 60 troops army. But on the other hand, then he could combine his troops into one big army and then eliminate me from the game, so I wouldn't consider invading him. And alright, I like that move to potentially card block the pink player by the black player, but unfortunately the pink player has a set of 3 cards. So he's able to crush the black player's troops and still get a card. But I mean, it wasn't worth for the card. But even if it wasn't worth for one card, maybe it was still worth thinking in the way that the pink player will still be able to capture territories and receive cards. So he's going to receive more troops from being able to trade in the sets. Also, the, the blue player could have crushed the Ukrainian army and split his troops into two equal armies in the Ukraine and Middle East, so the pink player will have been prevented from capturing territories, but on the other hand, maybe it wouldn't be a good idea for him to try and become enemies with the pink player as well. But ideally, I think it will be really great if black and blue players teamed up on the pink player. So yeah, we're going to see how this game goes, but so far there hasn't been a bunch of action. But I mean, this game is being played with expert plus rank players, and some of them could be masters or even grandmasters. And as you know, the most optimal strategy in risk is to not do anything, just capture one troop territory per turn and do not waste any troops of attacking any bigger armies of other players. So as you can see this game is kind of in a Mexican standoff stage, guys. In order for the game to be progressed, other players must team up with each other on somebody. But it looks like all of them is passive. I mean, some are making a more aggressive moves than others. I mean, the blue player has been the most passive player in this game, while, for example, the pink player wiped me out from outside South America, and the black player intended card block the pink player. But when it comes to the blue player, he's just been capturing 
want to update it or send a wetsuit from what I've noticed, guys. I wish I could do something more than just being trapped in South America, but I mean, I can't really do anything, and if I start a conflict with any of the players, then I will just be eliminated from the game. I'm the weakest player over here, so... What I just got a hope is to, that other players will start attacking each other, and then after we destroy each other for a bit more, then I will be able to join in the action as well. Either join in the action or just still continue turtling in South America, guys. I mean, if a black player went for Europe, then I will have been able to expand into North America, but since he went for North America himself, all I can do is just turtle over here. I could obviously invade him, but then I will just be eliminated by him from the game. And this is what I do not really want at all, guys. That's not the scenario I'm looking forward. Yes, yeah, so these players are turtles. We are using the most optimal strategy in the game, guys. The game is probably going to still meet for a while, I will guess. I mean, this is what's happening, guys. When everyone plays the most optimal strategy. In one of my last games, you said that I shouldn't have eliminated the third player in the four player situation to end up in the three player endgame, but you can see what happens if no eliminations is happening. All of the players just capturing one troop territories. All of the players just capturing one troop territory, and that's it. No action. So, do you find it really interesting, guys? Those who have been giving me advice to not eliminate players in the four player situations. So, yeah, we will probably have to wait for a while, but maybe eventually someone will intend to eliminate me. I mean, maybe eventually the black player will consider eliminating me. Or maybe eventually my opponents will start getting dissatisfied with each other. I mean, pink player is putting his army in Ukraine, but over hand probably doesn't really that bother other players that much. I mean, he's putting that army over here, so, so the black player will incur blocking. But yeah, this game is not turtling nothing, guys. No action whatsoever, no action whatsoever, guys. So probably this game will still be decided by either someone saying suiciding on somebody or some players disconnecting and leaving the game. I mean, even if I was eliminated from the game, we will still be in a, in a turtling situation without really being able to achieve anything to progress the game further. And I've just reached 100 troops mark as well, guys. Looking to the troops counter. We all have 100 plus troops, and we are probably going to get into other hundreds as well if this game is going to continue the direction it is currently going to. Come on, just do something, just do something. Somebody. I mean, the black player is the strongest player, so in order that the game will be progressed, it will be good that either he will attack somebody or that other players will team up on him. Or just two other players could team up on one of the players. That will work out also, I guess. And yeah, I have over 100 troops when it comes to my biggest army as well now, guys. Let's see if the blue player finally does something, but no, he doesn't, guys. No, he doesn't. He just continues capturing one troop territories. And that's it, that's it, guys. So this game is telemating paradise for sure, guys. Everybody is turtling in this game. No action whatsoever. No action whatsoever, guys. Pink player was aggressive towards fighting me for Australia towards contesting it for me, but once he get it, but once he got it, he become a really passive player for sure, guys. And we see me for other players. I didn't really think this game was going to be that still meeting, especially when the pink player contested for Australia with me and, it, and when it looked like the black player wanted to contest for South America with me as well. Everybody just hopes to win by turtling. Just by turtling and doing nothing else, guys. Probably this game will be decided by someone quitting. Or suiciding, I mean. One of the players, one of my opponents will suicide into another opponent, but in this case, the strongest player will still be one of my opponents. As all of my opponents are stronger than me. And, but alright, at least the blue player finally unleashes the black player's army. Maybe the black player continues pushing his army forward to Iceland or so when it comes to his Greenland troops and pressuring the pink player or so rather than just having those troops blocked and alright alright looks like Ira going to have some more action and well he's just capturing one troop territory so actually that's not that much of an action guys and he's just fortifying his army back to Greenland rather than even Iceland so to show what he will just still be a passive player without making any of his serious attacks. But hopefully if a pink player does the same then possibly the current just a conflict between them. And hopefully when the black player starts crushing some of the pink player's troops. Well alright, the pink player even unleashes army and yes. Yes at least it looks like the pink player is looking for some conflict with the black player. So this is what is promising guys.
I would like to think that the pink player is provocating the black player in some way. At least this is what it looks, guys. Also, blue player could try capturing Europe. I mean, that will be fun in some way. And I mean, he could really intend at capturing it in, in the beginning of the game as well after capturing Africa. But I assume the blue player wants to win by other players over destroying each other as well, guys. He doesn't want to bring the attention into him by capturing Europe. And especially when... The black and pink players are shooting a bunch of each a bunch of territories of it, each other in Europe. But alright, at least we're uh, getting some action guys. At least these players are capturing each other territories. Well it looks like it will be the same again. Right now I'm I'm almost twice as weak as the black player. So I'm getting into a really big disadvantage, but if other players are going to start attacking each other, then maybe the troops number will be equalized guys. But yeah, this is what is happening guys, when everybody just playing with the most optimized risk strategy guys, when it comes to fixed cards. No action whatsoever, no action whatsoever and I might even be the first player to get eliminated from the game, but we are going to see, we are going to see guys. Maybe actually the pink player will intend card blocking the black player now. I mean he will just need to capture Ukraine as well and then after the black player capturing Mongolia, he will block his army over here, but I mean maybe he wouldn't even want to unleash the pink player's army at the first case, guys. So yeah, that will be interesting to see if, if the pink player puts an army of troops in Ukraine as well. The black player keeps building his counter-attack army against me, but honestly, I'm not a threat for him at all. I mean, if I want it, then I will just immediately invade him and fortify my whole army, my whole 127 troops. So his 55 troops army is meaningless over here, I would say. But alright, at least it got the black player to move his army in Iceland. At least this is where the progression is. At least we are seeing some progression over here. For if the pink player won't get card blocked, then I think it will be the same situation again. Yeah, all of those players are just trying to win by turtling, guys. But let's see, maybe we will see some action going on from the black player, I would really like to hope what he will card block the pink player, so then the pink player will fortify his whole army out of a block place or so. But alright, looks like, alright, alright, he finally captured the territory. The pink player was taking his time as well, but he trades in a set and just captures one troop territory of a black player. Well, at least it's good to know that the pink and black players don't like each other that much. And also, since the pink player put 18 troops army in Japan, maybe the black player will crush that army again, guys. This is what I would really like to hope so. The blue player will obviously continue capturing one troop territories over here. I mean, honestly, with the black and pink players not really liking each other, it will be great that the blue player joined one of his sides, that he will either help the pink player attacking the black player, or the black player attacking the pink player. Otherwise, it doesn't seem there will be much progression or so. On the other hand, the blue player could ma risk making himself as a really big enemy. And maybe then the pink or black player would hate the blue player even more than themselves. But yeah, I guess let's just continue turtling as of now, guys. The most optimal risk strategy is boring, guys. I think I already know the title for this video. The most the most optimal risk strategy is boring, which if you haven't figured out it yet, it's turtling. And come on, crush the pink player's troops in Japan, black. Do something, do something. All right, is he capturing whole Europe or is just those territories? Well, just those territories, so it doesn't really do anything. Capturing a few one troop territories doesn't really do anything, guys. The game will be as stalemating as it was. But at least the pink player is recapturing them back. At least the pink player is recapturing those territories back. And I would say he is provocating the black player to take him out. But as you can see, the black player is building a counter attack army over here. Rather than adding his troops in one of his armies. So I don't really think the black player has in plans to eliminate the pink player. And the blue player is just simply capturing one troop territories per turn. And that's it. Isn't getting into a conflict with anyone. And as you can see myself. Myself, I'm just trapped. Myself, I'm just trapped in South America. I could attack the... I could eliminate the black player, but in this case, he will just eliminate me from the game, I guess. Since he will have enough troops to stay alive, and the balance of the game between blue and pink players will be balanced, will be sustained. So yeah, it's the most boring game ever, guys. How about if I just... if I just send the turtle... the turtle emoji? In all of their turns, I mean all of the, the, all of the, 
I love I'm a turtling. But at the same time, I'm turtling as well, so I will send a turtling emoji for myself as well. And now let's do it for the blue player as well, guys. Let's do the turtling emote for the blue player as well. I mean, this is the Australian turtle emote, but I mean, we do not really have an emote for turtling in general, so I'm using this. This is why I'm using this emote, guys. And right now, we are going to do the same for the black player too, guys. We are going to send with Australian turtle emoji, guys. Yes, attack each other, attack each other, this is what I really like. This is what I really like. The black player, the black player is taking over some... The black player is actually doing something, guys. I really like that. I really like that. Let's send him general thumbs up. As this game was really boring, guys. I've yeah, been going really in a really boring way. But alright, the pink player fortifies the whole army out of Australia, so I think he's going to suicide into the black player or so. And if so, maybe the blue player wins right now, or will we still be good, guys? Probably the blue player wins the game then. But maybe not necessarily he realizes that, I mean, some turtle players who just kept one troop territories per turn just keep capturing territories and then not even realizing when we have more troops than other players combined and still keep turtling over doing anything else. But let's see, here's the moment of truth, guys. Let's see what the pink player does. I mean, he has the access to invade North America through the other side. He doesn't necessarily have to crush that army. And also, he could just stay to the turtling strategies, but no, he crushes the biggest army of the black player, guys. This is what he does. And yeah, I think he's going to crush the other army of the black player as well, or... What is the case, guys? What is the case? Well, I think he just stops. Well, in this case, I will see it's something up to the blue player to do something. Since I'm not going to eliminate somebody when, when the blue player has 100 troops more than me, I will just go to split my troops like that, guys. Maybe I will even expand to North America then, if those players are so passive. But I mean, I neither going to eliminate black nor pink. And I mean, I like the black player, he try to progress the game in some way. Thought of while at first I thought that the pink player was going to completely suicide and the black player, it didn't happen, guys. It didn't happen. So, yeah. But yeah, I'm not taking any of those players out. Right here, I will just be able to capture territories and then trade in the sets, guys. They receive some troops as well. But let's see if a black player eliminates one of the players. Maybe he will eliminate the black player since I and pink players were enemies in the beginning. But no, so now it looks like he's combining his troops into one big army. So yeah, but we are going to see what is going to happen, guys. The black player fortified his army next to the pink player. Which is a bit provocating to the pink player, but we are going to see if one of the players gets eliminated from the game. I mean, even though the blue player's army in Egypt is blocked, he has still has his troops in the Middle East accessible. So he could use that army if he wanted to eliminate either black or pink guys. I could capture North America, but to not bring any of the player's attentions. I mean, to not bring the blue player's attention towards me, I think I won't do it right now. But let's see, I think he will really eliminate one of the players and let's see. Alright, it is going to be the black player. I mean, I'm happy that it's not me, as I mean, the black player could just combine his troops into one big army and intending to eliminate me, guys. But yeah, it looks like it is going to be the black player. But myself, I would have prioritized what it would have been the pink player, since I and pink players were enemies in the beginning of the game, and the pink player might not really appreciate me right now, but we are going to figure it out, guys. We are going to see. Let's see what the blue player does over here. Alright, he just... I guess he will just continue turtling, but let's see what the pink player does. If he invades... If he invades the blue player into... Into Europe or no, I think he's going after Asia from what it looks like since he added 7 troops in Kamchatka, but I don't know. Alright, he just captured Asia and myself, I will just... I will just capture North America, guys. I won't invade the blue player into his continent either. I'm just going to split my troops into equal armies or so, I guess. Yeah, I think that is going to be my plan, guys. And right now, let's just end my turn, guys. I will fortify rather my North American army over here. Or maybe no, I will fortify it over here, so the, black, so the blue player could only attack the pink player if he wants to attack one troop territory. Let's see, alright, he invades the pink player, but on the other hand, he has access towards me in North America as well. So let's see if he eliminates 
if he invades me or if he's just going to eliminate the pink player from the game. Alright, let's see if he moves. Alright, he actually moves his whole army and he gets extremely good blitz roll, guys. Which is really unfortunate, which is really unfortunate, guys. And it looks like he's even taking me out and... Oh well. And I mean, with those blitz rolls, he could even... He could even win the whole game right now, guys. Well played, well played, but let's just hope he runs out of time. Well played, well played. Well, he doesn't have enough time, otherwise he could have just really won the game. Let's actually send the pink player this amount. Let's send this amount to a pink player. So the misclick the blue player says. Alright. Alright, let's see. I want to capture a bunch of territory so the blue player could suicide into me easily or so. Also, I must trade an asset, so I wouldn't be that much appealing for the blue player to take me out. And yes, I will just going to capture as bunch of territories of the blue player as possible, guys. I and the pink players must team up on the on the blue player, guys. So this is what I am doing over here. I am capturing a bunch of territories of my of the blue player. I'm unleashing his army over here, but yeah. I think I just want to capture as many of the territories as possible, guys. Yeah. And where I should leave my army, probably I will leave it over. Well, I will just... Well, I will just... I don't know where. I'll just leave it here, guys. I mean, I do not... Uh, at first, I thought, I thought to fortify it in Northern Europe, but when I figure out, I do not want to... Want to put it into a blocked place, guys. Let's see, maybe the blue player eliminates the pink player right now since he has fewer territories. So then, <laughs> all right, he lost even 7 troops. So then maybe I will have better chances in the end game against him. But no, it looks like he's, take, he's just capturing the territories of mine. But all right, he actually hits the pink player as well, guys. He actually hits the pink player as well, guys. So that's at least really promising. I mean, we could still potentially make a comeback, I guess. If the blue player keeps his army blocked right now, trapped. So I, think, I think he really missed out taking the pink player out, I guess. Also, well, let's see what the pink player does right now. If he still attacks the territories of the blue player or he captures the territories of mine. So to increase his chances of getting the second place. Alright, he's captured a territory of mine. Right now he captured a territory of the blue player. And let's see. Alright, he might take over South America, I guess. Might just take over South America, guys. A little bit. Looks like this game has been won by the blue player. I will just be capturing a bunch of territories of a blue player. Yeah, this is that's going to be my plan, guys. And I will just fortify my army right here. I mean, I do have assets, so I could technically still survive. But let's see. All right, I think, I think, I think the blue player is going after the pink player over here, guys. So this is why it's actually good to capture more territories to have more troops, more territories than another player, which one of the players will take out. Because in this case, it's easier for the blue player to take out the pink player over me since the pink player has fewer territories. While otherwise, he could eliminate me. But alright, unfortunately, the blue player gets to take out the pink player out with all of the cards. Well, let's see if I'm even able to hold Australia or so, but I mean, he set four cards, so I think the game is lost for me, guys. Yeah, I think it's impossible for me to win anymore. Good game, a blue player says. Good game. Good game, well played. I mean, it was really smart by the, by the blue player to take that attacker's advantage on my North American armies. He ended up having more troops than me and the pink player combined. Two experts and one master. It lost me a bit of ranking at 713 place, guys.